You've got new classes on there or coming from Bill and Hillary Clinton, George W. and Laura Bush, Mariah Carey, Amanda Gorman, Bill Nye, Ringo Starr. You can pick one class. Which one do you spring for? Bill Nye. Bill Nye, I've why? I've always the wanted to guys. be much better at, <laughs> I want, always wish I was much stronger at science, and he is an amazing teacher. So if, I, if I'm gonna choose one of those, I like all, I like every single one of them. You're, ask, you're almost asking me to pick a kid, but if I was gonna choose one to take right now, it would be Bill Nye. All right, uh, meantime, you're partnering with companies like Microsoft and Deloitte to offer Masterclass at work. How much new business do you expect as a result of this? That has been very, extre extremely fast growing. We, we have seen oh, oh, for the past year as, as, as companies try to find perks and training of their teams that they just want masterclass. So we in the past year have signed deals with, ev with folks like with with fo with fo with folks like Square and Deloitte, um, and the, and that over the next five years will become a major uh, stream for us. What has demand been like as we come out of COVID? We've got less time stuck at home for personal enrichment. Any concerns about a slowdown? I am not concerned. I think the demand for people to want to learn, to want to grow, is just it is just is just increasing also we are about to go into the hot in we, we we are about to go into the hot into the hot into the holidays we are a gift that is not stuck in any port um, that is not delayed so we you know i i i am thrilled um and ex and excited and excited for the end of the year and, and what about demand ahead of the holidays? You know, I know that Masterclass has often been a popular gifting option. It has always been one. I think this end of this year, we, ha we have a class for everyone. Um, it is a great gift, and it's also one that, despite all the slowdowns in the supply chains, it, it is one that you can buy and get. Are you thinking at all about live events or events in virtual reality or, or even the metaverse? Is that on your radar? It, those are things that we're talking about. It's not, it is not, it is not going to be something in the short term. Um, but imagine how great it would, it could, it could be to learn from Steph Curry on how to shoot a basketball and you use your phone to look in AR or in, or in VR to see where to place your feet. Um, so those are things that we are discussing, but it's not going to be anything in the short term. Now, it's not inexpensive. $180 for the base subscription. You, you go up to $276, something more for something more premium. Do you foresee a time when that cost will come down? You know, the cost, if you average out on a month, on a per month basis, it starts about at about 15 bucks a month, which for access to 150, cla 150 classes from the very best in the world, I think is an amazing deal. But one of the things that I care a lot about is how to give people that can't afford it access to it. So in the next year, we are gonna give access to a million people that otherwise could not afford it. All right. Now let's look look out to next year. How do you see growth keeping up, picking up, especially as you know we're coming off our couches, we're going out into the world. We have so many different opportunities to do things outside again. That is very true. But I think the other trend that's also happening is pe people are thinking about changing jobs and changing and changing things that they want to actually do. And what we provide is lots of classes in lots of new areas for them to explore and learn and gain those skills. So I think the macro trends of people wanting to learn, people feel, feel, to feel that they have to learn in order to get the jobs that they want um, is going to be great for us. And what is the, well, who's at the top of your list for wish list recruits? Ooh, I mean, <laughs> I have a long list, but okay. The top ones, I would love uh, the Obamas to come and teach. Um, if Warren Buffett would come and teach, um, those would be some of my top. Those would probably be uh, in my top five. 